Hi everyone, and welcome to a lesson on gene editing and its potential uses. However, before being able to understand gene editing, it is important to first understand the basics of genes and DNA function. Everything starts with the four building blocks of DNA, also known as bases or nucleotides. These four bases are connected in very precise order to make up DNA strands. A specific collection of these DNA molecules, or bases, can be called a gene. Genes are a collection of information and they code for proteins that will affect a person's physical characteristics, how they behave, how their body functions, and much more. A good example to help understand this concept would be to compare each DNA molecule or base to a food ingredient. Using this analogy, we can compare genes to different recipes. A strand of DNA would therefore be considered a cookbook containing many different genes or recipes. When base pairs are added or removed in genes, it is called a mutation. This can mean that the protein that the gene is supposed to make might not work as it should, or the protein might not be made at all. Depending on the effects of the mutation, it could even be life-threatening. This is where CRISPR comes in. CRISPR is composed of two main components, a Cas9 protein and a guide RNA. The Cas9 protein is used to make a cut at a specific region on the gene and the guide RNA is attached to the Cas9 to help it cut the gene at the appropriate location. On a gene, researchers will identify a sequence of DNA bases that is causing issues regarding the function of a gene. By knowing the sequence, guide RNA is made to help the Cas9 find this specific sequence on the gene to cut. For the future, this means that diseases that are related to our genes, such as cystic fibrosis or cancers, can be cut out using CRISPR. With gene editing, we can also add parts to the gene too. If we know there is a gene that helps keep people healthy, for example, doctors can opt to add this in. CRISPR can be used outside of human use as well. It can be used in animals to make them healthier and less damaging to the environment. It can also be used in crops, for example, to help increase yield and therefore feed more people. The future of gene editing is extremely bright and new ways to use gene editing are being discovered so often. I hope this video helped you understand CRISPR a little bit better. Thank you for watching.